we have to talk. <laughs> and it's definitely going to be about hygiene today, according to the title. It's time for an update, right? <laughs> Let's go. So before we move into this hygiene video, just know that this is a question and answer video. You guys ask and I'm gonna answer, but of course you have to hear from our sponsor, so let's pay the bills. Hey guys, Nikki here and this vlog will be brought to you by Zigu. I love this company, they have some amazing clothes and etc. They sent over a few pieces, so of course I will link them below for you guys so you can shop. It is a brand that is sold on Amazon. I know you guys love Amazon, so a lot of you guys are going to be stoked about that. So let's just get into the pieces that I was sent, alright? So this is a dress. You have a lot of peekaboo moments going on right here. Of course, the girls are pretty big, so you're not gonna be able to see all of the peekaboo like you would on a normal size bus. Very cute skater dress. There's a peekaboo at the hem as well. I absolutely love this dress. It's so freaking cute to me. So freaking cute, so freaking cute. So if you don't want to show all that, hold up. You can put something black under it as well. And it's still a cute look. That's the back right there. It is just a cute, fun, and flirty dress. So look at this cute black number. It's a wrap dress. I love wrap dresses because you can kind of play with them. You can take the strings all the way back and make your waist tighter. Um, you could tie it at the back. I just did a little quick tie to show you guys the dress. Everything I'm showing you guys is available in other colors as well. This is a satin moment. It is super cute, guys. It is plain at the back. Just a very cute dress to throw on. Girls night out. Quick little date night. Love it. <laughs> and here's our last peach. Mm, peach. Peace. It is a beautiful peach number. It's just a satin dress that has a belt. You can dress this up or dress this down. It's just a very beautiful basic item, staple type item. And of course it's available in a lot of colors as well. Let me come in so the light will go out of it. Oh, you can see it. Very cute dress. So of course I will link all of these pieces below. Don't forget to check Zigu out and let's move into the video. So I will make sure that my sponsor is linked below guys. Check them out. So let's move straight into this. Now let me tell you how this all got started. I did a hygiene video years ago. Over a million views. Probably over 2 million views. And woo. That brought a crowd. Okay. Then I was a beauty channel. Everybody kept requesting hygiene videos back to back. But... I wasn't taking social media serious then, baby. If I know what I know, if I knew what I know now, I would have hopped on that thing and kept it going, okay? But I was like, I was just playing in front of the camera. I was just showing my hygiene routine. I do tutorials and yeah, I should have just gave the people what they wanted, right? So anyway, that transitioned to me doing a few more, but none of them hit the spot like that first one. And then that made a lot of other influencers start doing them. So they start demonetizing because yeah, I don't know what they were saying. I don't even know what I was saying. I'm gonna go back and watch that video because I don't know. But you couldn't put a hygiene video up without them demonetizing it. So I'm just like, dang, you can't even tell how you wash up. So what I wanted to do is address a lot of stuff from those videos and the questions. For one, for one, the main thing people say is, I don't stink. Why did you click the video then? That's so strange to me. Like, if you never, if you've never had a problem ever, ever, First of all, you do a video. Tell us how. We want to know. Because I don't care what you say. At some point of time in your life, you've had a little... Mm, if it's after working out. If it's after moving. If it's after um, other things I can't mention. If it's um, you was depressed and wasn't bathing. If you've had a moment. <laughs> I promise you you have. You might not think you have. But you have. So there is nothing nor there is nothing abnormal about having an odor. What's abnormal is knowing it and not doing nothing about it. Or 
you got one every day okay so another thing i want to address address is this is my routine this is my body of course yours is going to be different you do what is best for your body okay I'm only giving advice from what I've learned the hard way, okay? It, it kind of triggered from me not having a mother figure at that very prominent age where you start, you know, developing different odors and stuff. So I had to go through a lot of trial and error. So that's why I'm here. And then I want to address that too. It helped a lot of people who don't have mother figures, who simply didn't know, or who simply don't know what part to touch and what go up what that's what i did it for okay i'm trying to see if there's anything else i want to address um know that there are different types there are types from just not being clean there are types where you need to go to the doctor and get something like metronidazole or something like that mm, antibiotics and then there's a type where i said hereditary one of my videos you guys went crazy what i meant by that is like genetics <laughs> If your great grandma, your grandma, your mama island <laughs> be getting a little tart, you ain't excluded, home girl. <laughs> oh boy. Another thing, when I show my shower routines and etc., you guys go crazy. You need all that, you child. I use this sometimes, this sometimes. This one I really need coverage. This one I'm not going anywhere. I don't just sit in a tub and just throw all this stuff on my body at one time come on now people come on now okay um but i will use everything i use on under my breasts because they are big obviously um down south front and back below i have amazon links of everything i use and i will leave all of the other hygiene videos below too so a lot has changed i've been through menopause so i'm post menopause now um i've lost weight <laughs> since that first video um and um i've gotten older so my body has changed so let's just go over these questions you guys answered now y'all ask them we gonna answer them just in case you guys want to see the outfit it's pretty fancy for this type of video but i got it for something else and i decided to wear something else so that's why i look like i'm going to the prom mm -hmm. so guys i've been recording all day and my battery on both of my batteries is blinking. It's about to make me cry. So let's just hop straight into the questions. Can you get your collaboration Yoni soap again? So that Yoni soap went viral from that video. Also, shout out to Naturalistic Beauty Con. I showed the strawberry bar from that. I got two collaborations with her, my purple bar, and then I got um, a sunshine bar with her. One was cotton candy scent, one was like a tropical scent. Them things sold out back to back to back to back. The collaboration ended, okay? Um, but she still sells soap. A lot of people thought that was my company, my soap. No, that was a friend. I was in love with her soap. And so we collaborated. A collaboration is y'all come together and make each other money, basically. You don't have to collaborate for a lifetime. You don't have to collaborate for six months. It can be a two-week thing, a six-week thing. The collaboration ended. Um, so a lot of people felt like they couldn't buy the soap anymore. She has a full functioning website with multiple soaps, multiple scents, and all of them I've tried. I still love strawberry. Um, I love southern tea as well. You can purchase them. I will link them below, and I do have a discount code. They are bum. They're natural. You guys went crazy over them. You guys love them. I still use them. I still love them. And I'm still fresh. Clean as a whistle. Hey, I'm fresh. Hey, clean as a whistle. Hey, you fresh. I'm fresh. Okay, we ain't got time to play today. All right. Please support sis. The soaps are amazing. Amazing. They will be linked below. So the next question. Y'all excited? How do you keep the girls dry and smelling fresh without irritation all day? I have an entire video on that. I will link right here too. Right here and under here, a movie can happen, okay? <laughs> baby, baby. This has been a problem area for me for a minute. If you don't take care of your breasts, especially under your breasts, no air is getting under there. It gets sweaty, they crack, they bleed when they of, when they are of my size. So you have to make sure you nourish in it. A dry stick, powder, the type of bra you wear matters. Keep them open. I know a lot of people always say I always show skin. I don't care what you think. 
you ain't getting done no matter how much skin i show okay that is really so they can ventilate and breathe half the time i'm not joking like cover these things up all the time i have cried and been hunched over but we're talking about odor but it all ties together because that stinks that's bacteria that's fungus that builds under there if you really want to know the truth so just keep them dry i have a whole entire amazon um store the products i use i have a whole entire video on that you just have to keep them dry that's the best i can say if you're somewhere you're out go in the restroom pat under them um, you can use a spray. You can even use regular deodorant. You can make sure you shower. That's the very that's the most important part to a hygiene routine. Shower and bathe, like I always say, soak. Soak. Let me let me tell y'all something. When something won't come off of something, what do y'all do? If you got a wig, the glue won't come out. You soak it. If you got dishes, the stain won't come off the pot. You soak it. And shade, her carries odors. Carries odors. I got off topic though. But yeah, make sure you keep it dry. Yeah, keep it dry. That's the best advice I can give you, alright? So let's move into... I had lost these questions, guys. So you guys got to ask them all over again if you didn't the first time. Tips on smelling good in this Texas heat. Don't go outside. <laughs> Baby, would you want to get cremated? You wait till 7 o'clock and take your butt outside. You do all your errands before 10 a.m. And don't go back outside no more till after 7 p.m. It gets 120 degrees here sometimes, y'all. Why, why are you outside? Why? <laughs> why? But no, on the real, I know some of you guys don't have a choice. You work, you have errands to run, you have kids that play sports and stuff. Baby, let me tell you, get you a fan. I got a plethora of them. Get you a fan or two, the ones that go around your neck, the handheld fans. Keep ice water on you at all times. Have you some items in your purse, bag, car, truck, extra deodorant, extra towels, extra. I'm dead serious. I have disposable towels. They are the size of a dang nickel. You put them on the water, they expand. Keep some of them in your truck. They got um soap you can take with you that's like it soaps up under water it's like a sheet you gotta do what you gotta do it's, it's that simple just like if you have a baby you're gonna carry their wipes you're gonna carry their diapers you're gonna carry their their baby powder you need to do the same for you too take care of you too i keep wipes in my purse i keep um hand sanitizer of course perfume of course um all of that i keep d de a little deodorant I even got a toothbrush and a little thing of toothpaste in there because I never know where I'm going to be and where I'm going to end up, especially now that I'm single now. That's what's different from the first video as well. So, um, you just have to do what you have to do. But my recommendation is stay out of it, chat. I ain't even lying because it's hot, all right? And if you have to go out in it and if you have to be out in it, just stay cool. Wear cooler clothing. And don't please in the comments. I don't want to hear nobody saying that's common sense. They ask the question, I'm going to answer it. You know what I'm saying? It might be to you, but some people genuinely want to know. Cooler clothes, ice water, get you a, a Spikes, or get you a Stanley or something, baby. Make sure you stay hydrated. Um, like I said, you just got to keep that stuff on you. Baby, don't get caught slipping in these streets. All right? All right. <laughs> so the next question is, what are other hypoallergenic products to use in your vaginal area? for us sensitive girlies. I despise questions like that. I despise answering questions like that because everybody is so different, guys. If you're sensitive, might not be my sensitive. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm sensitive now since the first video, but I'm still not as sensitive as some friends I have who barely can even put anything down there and they're breaking out or itching or burning or something. You get what I'm saying? So I would say that's a case-by-case -case basis. I can't advise on that because I just feel like it's so harsh to say, but that is a trial and error thing. Try the products that are labeled sensitive, but that would also, you would also have to determine what's making you sensitive. You might be allergic to something in those products. Um, like I said, it might be a genetic thing. It might just be the wrong product for you. So 
get trial sizes travel sizes of items don't go and buy no big old ten dollar bottle of summer's eve and you don't even know if that's gonna work for you go to the little travel section get a little travel one get a trial you know just do something like that because i would just say be careful be careful or go natural but even natural products irritate you. So that's a case-by-case -case basis. I can't answer that for you because I became sensitive last year and had to go through a plethora of products and ended up using that Yoni Bar again. All over again. I even tried Yoni Bars and stuff from Amazon. and uh, I, I'm ready to fight the whole Amazon pool the, uh, the way they had me. I'd never in my life do that again. So I went back to my original naturalistic beauty con Yoni Bars ASAP. Trial and error. <laughs> best summer scent. My best summer scent that I am grabbing for nonstop is Dama Bianca. Oh my gosh. It's so light and fresh and airy. Dama Bianca. And guess what? I will put the Amazon version of it too. There is something on Amazon that smells like it. It's called, it's made by Al Haraman. I think, and it's called Junoon Noor. Smells just like it, a fraction of the price. I have both. Um, that is such, it's not too heavy. It's not saturated. It's not boom in your face, but you still have a siage. People still smell it. It's just the number one girly scent to me. It's so fresh and just vanilla E. <laughs> yeah, I hate when I say E on the end of stuff like Ma V, vanilla E flowery <laughs> i know those aren't words but y'all know what i'm talking about the vanilla in it it's just so fresh and oh it's beautiful but it is like two three hundred dollars so i will link something on amazon that i want to say it's less than fifty dollars that smells just like it no joke i have both y'all know i do <laughs> so sorry if this is too much of your business but did you change anything in your routine when you went back to men first of all let's clear this up it's not when i went back to men since i've been divorced i've only been with one man let's clear this up but let, let, let's just clear that up because y'all y'all think you ain't got a hot twat in these streets baby now nah, i just love to have fun i be outside but who ain't touching me deal so yeah nothing changed w what is that to change uh, I can't get as graphic as I want to because this is YouTube, but what is there to change? Somebody is going to have their private parts in their head down there regardless if it's female or male. You want to be fresh and clean regardless. There's absolutely nothing to change. You guys saw when I was dating the one person. <laughs> he sat on camera and said, I've never smelled you. And I told him, yeah, I can cut up. <laughs> I just know how to take care of myself. I just always shower before. I just always make sure I'm good before. I always smell myself before. Y'all act like y'all scared to smell yourself. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good. The same way they do, okay? I don't want to say it, but make sure you're good. Same routine. You just want to make sure you're fresh. I mean... There's nothing to switch up about that. I'm going to get swallowed regardless. With it. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's move on to the next question. To answer that, no, nothing changed. All right. Same routine, same routine. So, so does the Irish Spring work better than the peppermint soap in the back? And when she say the back, she means the buttocks. And I told y'all the reason why I focused on that because the Uber driver told me a horrible experience. She would have to watch the first video. I'm not going to tell this story over about a big girl and why he don't deal with them. And that's all he could smell. Mm -hmm. So I taught y'all how to clean your backside too. So I would say. That's a personal preference as well. A lot of people don't like that menthol, peppermint feeling back there that the Brunners give you. Um, do it work better? I really wouldn't know because um, I ain't never just did a comparison. You know what I'm saying? They both work though. They both work. It's just make sure you, make sure you dilute that soap five to one. Don't just go straight in with it five to one with water because it's very powerful and i i just really feel like now is it really safe to be using down there i just feel like that soap will turn some of y'all up down there baby hell y'all uh 
crying. All right, so just stick with the Irish Spring if you can, um, and that'll do the job. That's what I'm gonna say. What if I do if my mate has an issue, but I really love them? It's not what you say, it's how you say it, or what you do. Hey baby, let's shower together. Hey baby, let's soak together. Hey baby, I don't think that product working out for you or do it in a playful way. Woo, your butt must of the day. Cause I remember one time I tried a natural deodorant and I thought it was really working and my spouse said, no man, try again. Yes, thank. <laughs> I wasn't embarrassed at all. It was funny. Cause I was like, for real? Yeah, I'm actually musty. Like, it was funny because it was in a playful, like, it wasn't in a malicious. If you really love and care about this person and vice versa, you would know that it's not in a malicious, nasty way and that they are just trying to help. And it's how they say it too. Now, if they like, God, your ass stank. Get off of me or something like that. We got another issue. Because if you are into me so much or if you love me, um... That would depend if y'all in love or if y'all a couple. Then there is a way you would want to say things to me so that it would even hurt me. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like if you're dealing with someone sexually and they don't have the um, compassion to tell you in a nice way, you really shouldn't be dealing with them. The end. And if you're dealing with somebody um, at a level, y'all should be able to talk to each other about stuff like that the end you shouldn't feel shame you shouldn't feel embarrassed none of that you get what i'm saying so the next question is what is the weirdest thing you've used um for hygiene down there it's not weird but um facial wash my gynecologist recommended that because um after menopause your skin gets really thin and sensitive and so no matter what i shaved with and etc it was causing irritation and like hair bumps and stuff and so my doctor said if it's safe enough to use on your face it's safe and safe enough to use down there and when i say down there i'm gonna learn the technical names but i'm not talking about the actual um vagina where babies come out of i'm talking about the i think it's the mom pubis where the hair and stuff grow all right don't get it confused <laughs> don't get it confused and that's another issue when people be like soap don't put no soap on here you're not supposed to use soap yes you are okay you're not supposed to insert the soap up the actual vagina the canal but the mother parts you need to get, okay? <laughs> Brother, her head, the lip, my pubis, mother, baby, the labia, all that. You need to get all that. The, the clitoris, you need to get all that. Just don't put the soap up where you handle your business or where babies come out of. We, we trying to keep it cute, y'all. Y'all want to start on fast. Baby, I can get a whole model. They got little, little plastic things and... I can get a hole and go to town. Y'all thought I was going to show on me, huh? Yeah, life don't get that great, baby. But I can get a little model and like, hey, we can. Okay, we just can't do it on here because it's YouTube, all right? So I think I got one more question. It wasn't that many. Don't be afraid to ask them. I will never call you out or say so-and-so, um, so-and-so. Uh, this question came from, because of the nature of these questions, um, the last question say, oh, wow. What do you do if your partner don't like you putting deodorant and feminine sprays and stuff? They love to smell your natural scent. Okay, do you have a natural scent or a natural odor? It's a difference. Everybody has a natural scent. You ever, it's going to have a smell to it. But what kind of scent do they like to smell, home girl? <laughs> is it fishy? Is it musty? Uh, now, nah, because they do be liking it. When I, when I interviewed the men, the men love, they said the stank on it. I don't know what the stank on it is, but uh, it depends on how you he wants you to smell, baby. Um, and like I just said, that's another situation. If y'all are so comfortable enough giving yourself to these people, why aren't you comfortable enough to have these conversations with them? That's just like people who are comfortable enough to marry somebody, have a baby with somebody, 
obviously have obviously have intercourse with these people, but won't use the restroom around them. Everybody use the restroom. We all gotta use the restroom or we'll die. It's just like if you're that uncomfortable around your partner, you really shouldn't be with them, in my opinion. I'm not gonna say that. Some people just like that, but um, I'm that's just my opinion. So, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up right there. There wasn't many questions because when I got the ten, I took that thing down because I don't want to be here all night, and I've answered or addressed a lot of this uh before, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you want more. I hope I answered your questions to the best of my ability. Um, take a bath, y'all. Watch what you eat. It's in your food too, cause that's just like if I eat asparagus. Oh, I ain't busting it open at night because <laughs> it's well, every time I urinate, I'm just going to smell like asparagus that don't smell good. So it is about what you eat, what you're consuming. Um, it is about showering. If you have to do it more than once a day, do because y'all know I'll do it up to three times a day, depending on what kind of day I have. And um, just find the products that work for you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll do another one soon. I just, I don't know what else to talk about with them. Y'all want me to keep doing them? Um, if you got another subject I can switch up and start talking about, like maybe more than feminine hygiene. Let's do, we can go from the rooty to the tooty, okay? We can go from up here to down here because y'all heard me stinking and y'all feet be stinking too, all right? <laughs> don't play me no mind yeah don't pay me no mind but y'all want to counsel me and I, i'm a comedian that's that's another thing that's on my bed i'm a comedian i'll see you all in my next video bye